Hello my people, FinderBub here. Thanks for checking out the video. So, today we are talking about MIPS. Now, what the f*** is MIPS? Well, if you take a look at any of these helmets, you will find a little yellow sticker that says MIPS. MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. What does that mean? Well, traditionally speaking, helmets are made of hard foam, like this one from Jiro. This is my dad's bike helmet. You can see in here, it's all made from very hard foam. Foam essentially acts like a crumple zone in your car. It gets crushed, absorbs the force of an impact, in lieu of your skull. In uh, recent years, there have been developments in these types of impact protection systems, such as Coroid or AeroCore technology, which is present in many Smith helmets. In between all of these gaps are these honeycomb vents. And these honeycombs kind of act as a substitute for the hard foam. This helmet definitely still has hard foam in it, but the AeroCore Coroid system is much more breathable because it has all the holes going through it, and it actually absorbs more impact than a typical helmet foam would. However, both of these types of things only prevent damage against linear impacts. What's a linear impact? Well, say you're hanging upside down by your feet and you fell straight to the ground and your head hit the ground, that would be a linear impact. To be perfectly honest, those types of falls don't really occur very often in sports that you would want to use a helmet for, such as skiing, snowboarding, motorcycling, biking, etc. Generally, when you're participating in those sports, when you fall, you're moving forward as well as down. So we're going to pretend that I'm skiing along, and so an impact with a fall would occur with a rotation. And so you'd hit the ground kind of as your body is moving forward. And so that type of impact causes concussions because the rotational force is what causes your brain to move inside of your skull and that results in concussions. The other type of impact protection systems, such as the foam or the choroid really only prevent skull fractures, which are very rare injuries in these types of sports. Most, most of the head injuries that you see in these sports are concussions. And so, MIPS is a technology that's present on all three of these helmets, as indicated by the little yellow MIPS sticker right there. And essentially what it is, here, I'll demonstrate on this, on my ski helmet, the Smith Quantum, which has both choroid, aerocore, inside the vents here and MIPS. But it's illustrated nicely because in this helmet, the MIPS is a bright color that you can see. So I'm gonna undo the Velcro for the inner liner of this helmet so that you can see this. That's the liner there. But you can see there's this shell inside the helmet and it actually moves around if you force it to. It's kind of on these little springy attachments, but it does move inside the helmet. So essentially what that does is it allows your head to rotate inside the helmet during an impact, which absorbs some of that rotational force that would otherwise be absorbed by your brain inside of your skull. So it's really an innovative technology and it's really addressing the main potential injury that you could have when participating in these sports, whereas previously, before MIPS existed, there was really nothing that prevented concussions in helmets. You know, the helmets are really just an extra precaution that prevented skull fractures, which do occur, and it's good to prevent, obviously. Nobody wants to crack their head open. I recently got a job at a ski shop here in Denver. I don't know if you've noticed, I've been uploading a little bit less frequently. But one of the things I always tell people who are looking for helmets is absolutely make sure to buy a helmet with MIPS because you're really not doing yourself any favors by buying a helmet without it because you're still opening yourself up to the potential of getting 
concussion and by no means does this prevent you from getting concussions but it reduces that force that goes to your brain significantly so i would say that anytime you're buying any type of helmet whether it's motorcycle helmet a bike helmet whether it's like a, a road helmet like this or more of a trail helmet like this or a ski helmet or a snowboard helmet always 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 make sure that it has that yellow sticker on the box and on the helmet that says mips because that will save you a lot of headaches in the future. Anyway, that was a quick little video, just introducing you to the concept of MIPS. I know I've spoken about it in my ski gear video previously, but I figured, you know, people who are Googling the word MIPS probably wouldn't have seen that video. So, you know, if you didn't know, now you do. Um, and yeah, ski season's a coming and I'm excited. Alrighty, my people, that concludes today's episode of the Finder Bub Show. If you've already bought a helmet with MIPS, or if you're thinking about checking it out for the first time, or if you have any questions or suggestions for other types of things that I should check out in the future, I'd love to have you comment below, especially if you think your insight can help me disprove something that I think I already know. But before you do, I just want to thank you oh so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking for new gear or planning your next trip, don't let the small details stress you out, because remember, life's an adventure. So relax, breathe in the outdoors, and don't forget to appreciate the finer things. See you out there, people. Peace. Wow.